Here's how to crop a circle photo on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you have a certain image that you want to use, but you want to crop it as a circle, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's open up your Photos app here, and if you just choose a random photo, and hit Edit and Crop at the bottom right, you can see you can have the options to crop it either landscape or vertical, whatever you want, but they're all variations of squares or rectangles. It does not allow you to crop a circle or even an oval in the iPhone as a default app. So what you're gonna have to do is you can go to the App Store and download an app. However, if you just wanna do it for one specific photo, it's easier to just use an online tool. So I'm just gonna type in circle crop photo and hit go. And then you have a few different options. You can do some of these circle crops, but I'm just gonna go down to a tool that just does this circle crop image online. You can go to any of the different ones that you want. I'm gonna tap upload image here and from the photo library. Now from here, I can choose that photo that I want, hit done here. And now the cool thing is, is I can choose exactly where I want it to be. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, I can move it all around. And now when I'm done, I can hit crop circle here. Just like that, it will crop it in a circle format. I can hit download image download and to get it back into my photos, I'll tap the little down arrow at the bottom left, tap downloads, tap on that image and I'll hit the share button at the bottom left and then hit save image. This will save it to my gallery on my iPhone so that I can open it up here. Oh, let's get out of here and I'll show you where it is. There it is. At the very bottom, you can see that image now has a circle crop, so you can use that wherever you want, and you can basically just use this free service online to do it instead of downloading an app that just circle crops. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.